discovered this basic principle of gravitation that holds the universe together? For the moment. There will be others with different principles. Only God never changes. God's clock is never slow or fast. Wound up once and forever. Most churchmen say once and forever. I say God tinkers occasionally with the mechanism. I have not much faith in churchmen. No, so I've heard. Is there an end to the universe, Sir Isaac? Now you've asked the ultimate question, Mr. of Russia. No. Man cannot visualize infinity. That belongs to God's domain. And there's no mathematical law for it, hmm? Take a look at these beams of light. What do you see? Specks of dust. How many? <laughs> Thousands and thousands. Just imagine each speck to be the universe. And then think of all the specks in the air, in London, in, in Europe, in the world. Enough. I would like to invite you to Russia. We need people like you. Thank you. I would like to travel, but a distance of three miles is far enough for my mechanism to go. I understand. first think of gravitation when the apple fell from the tree? Don't believe everything you hear. <laughs> it's dangerous for me to come here. They've doubled the number of men around me. Stupidity isn't one of your father's vices. He knows your supporters are growing. He's isolating you from them. He doesn't have to. I want no part in what is happening. Ah, you don't want to rule? Ah, when God wills it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you're not on our side, the people's side, when your time comes, God may look the other way. Then you will be in power again. No, 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 no. My only ambition is to see your father step down and you become czar. Everyone wants it, the people want it. When did he ever love you, or your mother? Did he ever answer your letter to him? He wanted me to learn to be hard and invulnerable, the way he is, the way he believes the Tsar should be. Ooh. I've been here too long. I have to go. Who ruled England in the 16th century? What? The first queen to rule in Europe in her own name. Do you know her name? Elizabeth. Was it an accident that your father named his bastard daughter Elizabeth? Are you blind? Do you think he doesn't know that deep in your heart you hate him? Do you think I don't know? Alyoshinka! He will never let you roll! Like it? We'll take it. This one, definitely not. Dispatcher, sir. Anything from Alexis? No. Shafiros. Leave us. Change? No. The same persistent evasion. 
no direct answer to any of my questions. But it's not like Shafirov. It may not be Shafirov. I'll give you letters this afternoon. Have Gordon send them back with heavily armed men. No relays. They go directly from here to the Kremlin and back. The same men. It'll be slow. Sarah. We have been away too long. Prepare to return to Moscow. I cannot prove it, sir, but they have the look of Streltsy. Get some rest. I'll see you are given leave. General Gordon expects me to return with your reply. Very well. General. He complains that he asks critical questions and you never answer him. No, he never asks questions. In fact, I was beginning to wonder if he cares what's happening at home. Couriers have been attacked. Or substituted, or bribed. Where is General Karpakov? On maneuvers with a battalion of Streltsy. Is it not unusual for a commanding general to lead men on a battalion level? It was his choice. I didn't think anything about it. But with this, and the riots against the foreigners. We can't ignore the possibility that we are dealing with a conspiracy. Or a revolt. Your dispatches were not disturbed. Letters between myself and Alexis have been intercepted. History is repeating itself. They are stirring up the Streltsy again, and I suspect it's Sophia. I'm riding ahead. You stay with the ladies. Boss. You come with me. We'll reach Moscow by nightfall. No one will know that I've returned. 